Now we might want to upload a new image to our website and resize it if necessary and then put it on the page. So what we'll do first, we need to, if we want to add a new photo to the website somewhere on one of the pages, first thing we need to do of course is upload that photo. So we go to Content Manager, Images Manager, like we did for the logo. And we, again, we have to have a JPEG photo somewhere on our computer. It's often best to put it on the desktop, which is what we've done. So we go and browse. You navigate to where the file is on your computer. In this case, it's on our desktop already. So we found example photo here, and it can be named anything. It's always a good idea to name your photos with underscores in them and not using spaces or any odd characters such as exclamation points or commas or anything like that. Best just to keep them clean. Underscores are okay. Um, so you select the photo you want to use, click on open, and click upload image. And what that does, it brings up the image at the full size it already is. So it's, and it tells you how big that is. It's 600 by 450. Now to resize an image, we've got it here. It's on the server. What we do, we can simply just select a percentage. So if you wanted that at half the size on your website that it currently sits there, you can, of course, either type in in here. You can go, okay, we want that 300 and it'll give you the proportional height. Alternatively, we can just downsize it here. We say we want it half as big. And again, it changes the sizes there for you. Now a note, you cannot, once you've, you cannot upsize an image on the server. Once we make this smaller, we can't then go and change the size back to 600 by 450. It will look very blurry and pixelated because as you downsize, it actually throws out a lot of information in the photo and therefore can't bring it back to the full size. If you downsize and then need to upsize again, the best thing to do is just delete the, the image from the server, um, from the images manager, and then re-upload the photo and start again. So here we've, we've uploaded it, um, and then we've decided we want it half as big, so we're going to save the image to the server. And you can see it's resized it, and there it is, and now it's on our images list. So again, if we go to, when we go to content manager, images manager, there's our new photo. And again, if we wanted to resize it, if it was still too big, you can always pick a photo from this list. And to resize the image again, we could simply go, okay, we actually want it at 90% of that size. It was still just a little bit too big. So we pick 90%, save image to server, and again, it's a, just a little bit smaller. So there's that. So that's uploading and editing and resizing an image. And now we're going to place that image on the page. So once you've got your image on the server, you go to the you go to content manager, select edit pages, and then we select the page we want to put the photo on. So suppose we want to put that photo on the about us page, we just click on about us. It opens opens the pages editor. And if you want to replace a photo that's already there, you simply click on the photo click on insert edit image here, the yellow icon. We browse the server again. Now this isn't browsing your computer, this is browsing the server. So what that does is it opens a new window. If this window doesn't open, often on the first time you use this, you'll have to remove your pop-up blocker for the website. Um, there is a separate tutorial and I'll get to that in a minute. But once you're into this window, you select your photo that you've uploaded. So we select example photo.jpg. And you can see it gives you a preview of it here. Click on OK. And it's replaced it on the page. Now we would simply up update the page to save that to our website. Alternatively, if you want to put a photo where there isn't one, you simply, it's very simple, you put your cursor where you want the, want the photo to be on the left hand side of the screen. Even if you want the photo to the right, it's easier to align it right later than to try to get your cursor over there using spaces. So we put the we put our cursor here because we want the photo there, say. Click again on insert edit image, browse server. Again we'll put that example photo in and we hit OK. And now there that there that photo is again if we were to want that. Now suppose we wanted it on the right hand side of the screen. We'll we'll actually delete this second one. But suppose we wanted this photo that was there, we want to move it to the right hand side of the screen. What you do is you select the photo by clicking once on it. 
select insert edit image and the align button here this align little menu uh, gives you a few options aligning left creates the text wrapping up around it on with the photo to the left if you select right the tech the photo will sit on the right of the page with the text wrapping up around it to the left so we go right and you can see it's moved the photo to the right hand side of the page with the text over here so now we just update the page and that's added a photo to your website and you'll see if we go to the about us page now on the live website we'll have our plant photo should be on the right hand side of our page and there